Scores of Palestinians were killed in central Gaza after Israel stepped up its strikes on the war-torn enclave. Another convoy of 17 aid trucks arrived as the Hamas-run territory faces catastrophic shortages. There were fresh exchanges of fire over Israel's northern border with Lebanon as fears grew that Hezbollah, a close ally of Hamas and Iran, could enter the conflict. With the violence raging unchecked, Iran said that the region could spiral out of control. Apart from funding Hamas, Israel's arch four backs Hezbollah and Lebanon, Washington warned any actors looking to inflame the conflict that it would not hesitate to act in the event of an escalation. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a stark warning to Hezbollah as well, saying getting involved would be the mistake of its life. מה שאתם עושים פה ומה ששמעתי עכשיו מהמפקדים שלכם זה דבר חשוב מאין כמוהו. אתם הורגים אנשי חיזבאללה שמנסים לתקוף את קו החזית שלנו. אני לא יודע עכשיו, כשאני נמצא איתכם, אני לא יכול להגיד לכם כרגע אם חיזבאללה יחליט להיכנס בצורה מלאה למלחמה. אם חיזבאללה יחליט להיכנס למלחמה הוא יתגעגע למלחמת לבנון השנייה, הוא יעשה את טעות חייו. ואנחנו נכה בו בעוצמה שהוא לא יכול אפילו לדמיין. והמשמעות לו ולמדינת לבנון היא הרסנית. אבל אנחנו ערוכים לכל תרחיש. The ministry said at least 80 people had been killed in the overnight raids on central Gaza, which destroyed more than 30 homes. The UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees said that 29 of its staff had been killed since the start of the war, saying half of them were teachers. The scale of the bombing has left basic systems unable to function. The UN stated dozens of unidentified bodies had been buried in a mass grave in Gaza City because of coal, because the coal storage had run out of space. Now the UN says Gaza needs 100 trucks a day to meet the needs of 2.4 million residents so far. And so far, there have been no deliveries of fuel. On Sunday, the chief of the UN agency for Palestinian refugees warned supplies would run out in three days. Philip Lazzarini said, and I'm quoting here, without fuel, there will be no water, no functioning hospitals, and aid will not reach many civilians in desperate need. The Hamas government said, 165,000 housing units, half of those in the entire Gaza Strip, had been destroyed in the raids. Meanwhile, an Israeli soldier was killed near the Gaza border by an anti-tank missile fired by militants inside the enclave. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant warned that the war with Hamas could take months, with fears growing that the conflict it could spread. Israel admitted accidentally hitting an Egyptian border post as well, Tel Aviv had apologized for the incident, which Cairo said had left an unspecified number of border guards with minor injuries. Pope Francis used his weekly prayer in Rome to plead for an end to the bloodshed. He said, and I'm quoting again, war is always a defeat. It is a destruction of human fraternity. Brothers, stop. He later held a 20-minute conversation with U.S. President Joe Biden about conflict situations in the world and the need to identify paths to peace. The U.S. President later discussed with the war with the leaders of Britain, Canada, France, Germany and Italy. He also held talks with Netanyahu. In Paris, French President Emmanuel Macron's office announced that he would be traveling to Israel on Tuesday for talks with Israeli Prime Minister. Protesters marched in several European capitals on Sunday. This in Berlin, Molotov cocktails are... Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.